Utica travels to Chippewa Valley to take on the Big Reds. Utica getting things going early. Jason Gorman intercepts the ball. Utica backed up, but busting through the line is Kumanu Gwili to give him some breathing room. Then Gwili dragging big red defenders down to the 33 yard line. Utica trying to ride the Kumanu Gwili train all the way to pay dirt, but tripped up just short of the goal line on the four. What Gwili started, Austin Kowalczyk finished as he rumbles into the end zone to make it 6-0. Utica would miss their extra point. Now Chippewa Valley with the ball. Patrick Brittingstool back to pass. Over to Sean Bunting. And it's first down, Big Reds. Then D'Angelo Washington for the Big Red, dragging Utica defenders to the 28-yard line of the Chieftains. Big Red still driving. Patrick Brittingstool and Sean Bunting hook up again. Combining on this tackle, Sian Strange and Dylan Demo. And at defense, Jason Gorman coming up big again. Batting down this ball. But the Chippewa Valley Big Reds would get a touchdown on this quarterback keeper, Patrick Brittingstool. And they would take a 7-6 lead. Some nice yard to cheer from Jason Groman. Then back to Kumanu Willie. Bouncing it outside. And in to Big Red territory. Now Anthony Harris. Then Harris won't be stopped. And all the way down to the 10 yard line. Zach Roman back to pass. And hits Austin Kowalczyk. Almost into the end zone, but just inches shot. Then Zach Roman, quarterback dive. Pushing the file in for a touchdown. Trying to make it 14, going for a two-point conversion. Zach Roman back to pass. Can't find anybody, avoids a defender, and finds Dylan Demo in the back of the end zone for the two-point conversion. Ensuing kickoff, onside kick. Who's got it? Chieftain ball! Next play. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that, Kumanu Gwili. And just like that, it's 21 to seven. Chippewa Valley back on the attack. Up the gut. But there to meet him is Michael McDay. But the Big Reds bust through the line with the hard running of Aiden Toth. Some nice yards after the catch for Kyle Muller of the Chippewa Valley Big Reds. Patrick Brinningstool over to Sean Bunting again. And ending the drive is D'Angelo Washington busting through the Chieftain line to make it 21 to 14. Kumanu Gwili for the Utica Chieftains. Almost breaks a big one here, but a shoestring tackle trips him up. More hard running for Gwili. Like a Mack truck through defenders. Off to the races. Finally getting tripped up inside the red zone. 
Quilly all the way down to the one yard line. Setting up this one yard dive by Zach Roman. And the Chieftains take a 28 to 14 lead into halftime. Second half kickoff, Sean Bunting fielding it. And down the sidelines he goes. Drag ending in the hands of Stefan Claiborne. And the Big Reds inch closer. to go back to pass, but intercepted by Austin McCrary. And here's the equalizer. Patrick bringing stool. Deshaun Bunting to the pylon. Touchdown, now it's 28-28. Later on, D'Angelo Washington. with some long yards. Short yardage situation for Chippewa Valley, but Patrick Bringsell gets much more than that. Through the line, cross the plane, touchdown. Utica. Passing. But another turnover. Ending up with this, Patrick Bringsell. With a pass to Stefan Claymore. And he wasn't going to beat a nine. He would go trying to get back into this one. Kumanu Willing with some nice yards here. Then Gwilly again to midfield. Kumanu Gwilly working hard tonight. Running through Big Red defenders, all the way down to the five yard line, into the fourth quarter. Austin Kowalczyk, pounds it in. The extra point was no good, and it's 35 to 34. High snap for the Utica punter. And on fourth down, the Big Reds get it deep in Utica territory. Sean Bunting receiving touchdown to make it 42 to 34. Utica driving. It's fourth down. McWilly can't make it to the first and turnover on downs. Jim Zarnick for the Chippewa Valley Big Reds. Brings it in for the final touchdown of the game. Making the score 49 to 34. 